Hi everyone, my name is Jake Cover. I own and operate Cover and Associates Immigration Services. Today we're talking about tips for filling out your Express Entry online profile. Well, the first part uh, that I suggest to is to determine if you're actually eligible for Express Entry. It's important to know that Express Entry isn't actually an application. It actually is an umbrella application that puts together the three applications for permanent residency in Canada. So those are the Canadian Experience class, the Federal Skilled Worker class, and the Federal Skilled Trades class. With Express Entry, it's best to familiarize yourself with the points system. So most people will need IELTS or CELPIP, which are language test results, as well as an ECA, which is an educational credential assessment, in order to be able to apply. With this, I suggest that you use the Immigration Canada's um, eligibility calculator. This allows you to input all of your information and determine your score to see if you're competitive for the Express Entry system. So in order to start an application, you need to first create a GC key, which is a Government of Canada key online, and get your Express Entry code. It'll prompt you to answer a series of questions to determine whether you're eligible for Express Entry. So you can first create a profile and fill out all of the information. It's very important in this stage of the application to be honest and accurate with all of your information. This includes being upfront about any past applications and refusals uh, for immigration either to Canada or elsewhere in the world. In the first section, which is the personal details section, you should be accurate with your passport information because this is very important for the part of this part of the application. Make sure that all of the information is correct, including the number, the issue date, and the expiration date in the application. The next section, which is the immigration history section, you must answer yes if you've applied to anything in Canada before. So this includes a study permit, a work permit, uh, a TRV, which is a visitor visa for anyone coming to Canada. You need to answer yes, even if you've never applied uh, for permanent residency before. If you've applied for a temporary uh, visa, you need to answer yes to that question. And lastly, so the family section under the personal details section, make sure that you include only the family that's in the application. So this is your spouse or dependents, which are children, and don't include your parents or aunt or anything. It's only the people who are actually coming with you to Canada, and the, the people who are eligible for this are only your spouse or your dependents. That's everything for today. Stay tuned for part two to learn more about filling the rest of your Express Entry profile.